Now to a KPIX5 original report. Catalytic converter thefts have long been a problem here in the Bay Area, but now they've hit an epidemic high. If you haven't been hit personally, most likely friends or a neighbor has. So what is going on? Why are these worth so much money? The KPIX 5's Kenny Choi discovered it's a vicious cycle of short supply and huge demand. Kenny? Ken, for a street-level criminal, this is very lucrative. A thief can get several hundred dollars for one of these, a catalytic converter. This is what a car sounds like without one. We've learned that there are big players involved who are raking in a lot of cash. All of a sudden, I heard this loud vroom. It's a sound you don't want to hear. And I was all, oh my gosh, what is that? But sadly, it's become all too recognizable. I said, I bet they stole my catalytic converter. That's where it was. Catalytic converters. And that's where it's going to go. The smog-reducing devices connected to the tailpipe under your car are a prime target for thieves these days. Under cover of the night, they slither under cars armed with a flashlight and a battery-powered saw, slice the prize converters off, and dash away. Two minutes. I mean, they're, I mean, they're really proficient at it. They're like NASCAR. They pull up. There's a jack guy. There's a saw guy. Muffler shops across the Bay Area and the state are seeing an all-time record number of victims coming in. We used to see one or two a month. Now we're seeing four or five a day. What the thieves are after is what's inside this catalytic converter that's part of your exhaust system. It's a honeycomb containing precious metals, palladium, platinum, and rhodium, that's now worth 15 times more than gold. The price probably was $2,000 a year ago, and then it shot to $4,000, and now it's $28,000. That's per ounce. Jeffrey Christian with CPM Group, a commodities research consulting company, says the skyrocketing price reflects extremely short supply. Rhodium is a byproduct of platinum mining that's way down due in part to the pandemic. At the same time, emission standards around the world are way up, especially in China. So demand is higher than ever. Get out of here, go! It's the perfect storm for cat converter thieves who have become so brazen, they'll even strike during the day. It was my grandma's Prius. Grabbed my clothes and just ran out trying to scare them off. Police have made some high-profile arrests. The biggest last summer in Elk Grove near Sacramento netted more than 1,700 cat converters and $300,000 in cash. That was kind of like hitting the lottery for us. Sacramento County Sheriff's Detective Tom McHugh led the multi-agency task force on the case. He says the street-level thief will sell a catalytic converter for on average 200 bucks to a middleman. The middleman waits until he has about 10 to 20 devices. Then he takes his cut and sells his load to the fencing operation. From there, investigators say the converters go to underground decanters who cut the canisters open and take out honeycombs full of precious metals inside. Those honeycombs are then sent to often illegal smelters. I would say that network is larger than California. Really? It's vast. Once distilled, the precious metals are untraceable and are sold to manufacturers around the world. To make new catalytic converters to replace the stolen ones. It's a vicious cycle that is causing lots of people lots of pain especially if you don't have insurance to cover the loss. And that's where it really hurts, because who has $2,000 lying around? But catching the bad guys isn't easy, because even though selling the converters without proper paperwork is illegal, possessing them is not. And we'd like to see it um, illegal to possess them unless you have paperwork. For now, consumers can protect themselves with anti-theft devices sold on the Internet. And since Priuses are a top target, Toyota now offers a custom covering plate. Prius catalytic converters are the most vulnerable to theft because they contain more precious metals than other cars of similar size. But investigators like Tom McHugh believe it's the manufacturers who should ultimately be stepping up to the plate by incorporating anti-theft designs right from the start on the assembly line. Unfortunately, he suspects they have no incentive to do the right thing because they also manufacture the replacement parts. It's a billion dollar a year industry all by itself because every time your catalytic converter gets stolen, it has to be purchased, and it's purchased from the manufacturer. We reached out to Toyota, Honda, and Ford for comments on this story. Honda sent us an email saying no comment. We did not yet hear back from Ford, but Toyota did, did send us a statement, and we have posted it on our website, kpix.com. Ken?
What a racket this has become. Um, a, the gentleman said, who's got $2,000 laying around? That doesn't even cost uh, cover the cost of having it welded up, buying the new unit. What are people paying to replace these things? Exactly, Ken. It's a nightmare for these victims, and the cost can vary. For someone who doesn't have insurance, it could cost about $2,000. If you do have insurance, you're paying that deductible, which could be several hundred dollars. But another thing that the victims are dealing with is the wait times. For one of these catalytic converters for a Honda, I've heard that the wait time is about two months, so that varies. But for someone who needs their car to get to work, that combination of wait time and cost, that can uh, certainly take its toll. All right, Kenny Choi reporting live. Thank you, Kenny.